Hello, third grade. Today we start our new unit of reading. So we're on unit two, week one. Now, if you look in your small reading book on page 96, it looks like this. On page 96, you can see what kind of our next, the big idea of our next five weeks are actually gonna focus on. So the topic of unit two is figure it out. The big idea is what does it take to solve a problem? All right, so every week we're gonna focus on something new about what it takes to solve a problem. We've got kind of a silly poem here. Um, I'll go ahead and read it. Make sure you're following along on page 97 in your small reading book. The problem solver. If you have a problem, supersized or small, I've got some suggestions, just give me a call. Do a lot of reading, study every fact, write down some solutions, think before you act. If the problem is too hard, ask a friend or two. Teamwork's always better when there's work to do. Problems always pop up, do not scream or cry. You'll find a solution if only you try. Well. This week, if you turn the page to page 98, our big essential question is why is working together a good way to solve a problem? This week we're going to read some folk tales. Now folk tales are really fun stories to read. They're going to be all about um, somebody, a character, learning a lesson. Like for example, today we're going to have a spider that learns a lesson when some other people um, try to help and work together to help solve a problem. Working together. There was a problem, but these friends figured out what to do. Now they are working together to solve it. Working together is a good way to solve problems, and cooperation makes the job easier. Can you imagine if you never got to do anything with anybody else, and you just had to do everything by yourself? How much more difficult that would be? Miss Bryan and I, as teachers, we work together all the time. right? We work together on making lessons, on grading, we cooperate, we work together. It would be a whole lot more difficult if I just had to do it all myself, all right? So think about something that you work together with. Maybe right now, while you're at home, you've got a sibling that's sometimes helping you on some, time, on some of your work and you guys solve some problems together. Maybe it's a parent that's helping you out. Maybe it's someone else, all right? As you turn the page, we've got some different vocab words for today. Now, your vocab assignment looks very similar to last week's. It's on the back of this sheet that was in your um, Monday folder. So you've got eight different vocab words, and your instructions are going to be to use each word in a sentence, or you can draw a picture to represent the word. All right, so sentence or picture. Let's go through those eight new words. Remember, if you need help on ideas of what to write or draw, this is an awesome place to look. Attempt. Maria made an attempt to run a mile. What's another word for attempt? If you attempt something, well, you're going to try it, right? If you try something new, you make an attempt. So attempt, think, try. Second word, awkward. We've got this funny picture of this penguin right here. The penguin looked awkward and clumsy. So something's kind of awkward, it's clumsy, doesn't look quite natural. Third word, cooperation. I clean the floor faster with Becky's cooperation. Right? Becky helped me clean that floor up. It made it way faster because you were cooperating, you were working together. Next, created. Jim and his grandfather created a home for birds out of wood. So if you're going to create something, you're making it, right? Create, make. Top of the next page, furiously. I don't like snakes, so I don't even like looking at that picture of a snake. But the rattlesnake shook its tail furiously as a warning, right? So furiously means you're doing something really, really furiously, really quick, like with lots of intention. You can see the rattlesnake furiously shaking that tail. Next, interfere. The rain is going to interfere with our ball game, right? It's going to interfere. It's going to kind of get in the way. What kind of weather might interfere with your plants? Well. I think about, one of, one of the things I always think about is normally in third and fourth grade, we go sledding, right? And if we go sledding, well, what do you need? Well, you need snow. So if it's too warm, that might interfere with your plans to go sledding. Next, involved. Our class is involved in the school play, right? If you're involved in something, it's something that you're a part of. Um, and then timid. The shy, timid kitten hid under a blanket. Would be the opposite of timid. 
you're not timid, what would it be? Brave, right? If you're not timid, you're brave. All right? Now, you could have thought of another word that means the same thing. That's okay. But just think when you think timid, you're thinking kind of shy, not really wanting to do something, kind of timid. All right? So you're going to use those words and you're going to um, get some practice with them on your vocab worksheet for today. You've got two choices. You can either pause the video and do this now, or you can keep watching. We'll read our big story, or I mean our, our short story for the week. And then if you want to do it at the end, you could do it then. So either do it now or do it at the end of the video. Our first story for this week is called um, Anansi Learns a Lesson. Right? Anansi Learns a Lesson. So we've got our spider here. You can tell that this is a folk tale. So a folk tale is going to have a lesson at the end. Most of the time, there's going to be animals. They're going to talk. They're going to solve problems. Um, so they make it kind of fun and interesting stories to read. Essential question. Why is working together a good way to solve a problem? Read how Turtle works with a friend to solve his problem. Anansi the spider lived alone and made his lunch the same time every day. One afternoon, Turtle stopped by. I hate to get in the way and interfere with your meal, but those bananas look wonderful, said Turtle. I am so hungry. Anansi knew he should share with others. It was a big part of his culture, but he was hungry and didn't want to share. He decided to play a trick on Turtle. Please help yourself, Anasazi said with a sly grin. Turtle reached for the food. Shouldn't you wash your hands, said Anansi. Oh, yes, Turtle said. When the turtle returned, Anansi had eaten half the bananas. I didn't want the bananas to spoil, said Anansi. Turtle got closer and made another attempt to eat. Anansi stopped him again. Turtle, please go wash your hands, he said. Turtle knew his hands were clean, but Anansi still thought they were filthy. However, Turtle was too shy and timid to say no. When he returned, Anansi had eaten the rest of the fruit. Ha ha, I tricked you, Turtle, said Anansi. You didn't get any bananas. Top page 105. Turtle was angry at Anansi. He decided to teach that nasty spider a lesson. Please, come to my house at the bottom of the lake for dinner tomorrow, said Turtle. Anansi quickly said yes. He loved free food. The turtle couldn't trick Anansi alone, so he decided to ask Fish to get involved and help make a plan. Turtle found Fish at the lake. Fish, I need your help. With your cooperation, remember that means to work together, we can trick Anansi. Anansi had tricked Fish many times, so Fish was happy to help. Together, the two friends created a clever plan. Page 106. The next day, Anansi went to the lake. Fish met him at the water's edge. Come, Anansi, said Fish. We'll swim to Turtle's house together. Anansi jumped into the water. He was a clumsy and awkward swimmer. He was also very light. How will I ever get down to Turtle's house, he cried. Fish knew what to say. Grab some heavy stones, then you will sink, not float. Anansi picked up two big stones, jumped in the lake, and sank down, down, down. Fish swam at his side. At Turtle's house, Anansi saw a wonderful feast of berries. Welcome, Anansi, said Turtle. Drop those stones and help yourself. As soon as Anansi dropped the stones, he rocketed to the surface of the lake. Anansi sputtered furiously. Fish and turtle tricked me, he cried angrily. Back at the bottom of the lake, turtle and fish laughed and laughed. We worked together and taught Anan Anansi a lesson, said turtle. Well, what a good way to solve a problem, said fish. Let's eat. To review our story, to review our story, we've got two quick questions to answer. All right, so on the front of your worksheet here, on the front of your worksheet, we've got our title up here, Anansi Learns a Lesson, and then you've got two questions. The first one says, tell how turtle and fish work together to trick Anansi. So that's right here, top one. Tell how turtle and fish work together to trick Anansi. So write that right in here. 
I'd use at least two or three sentences just so that I know that you're giving me all the information and that you read our story. And then the second one says, think of a time when you and a friend solved a problem. Why was it easier to work together? All right, so think about working together. When was the time that you and a friend solved a problem? Why was it easier to work together? All right. When you are done with both sides of that, please check it off of your weekly checklist and um, put it back in your Monday folder.